Torture has been a brutal reality for many unfortunate people. The most unsettling fact about torture's brutality isn't its existence, but the way people have injected a perverted sense of creativity and even pleasure into the creation of devices designed to inflict pain. I'm now going to cover 10 brutal torture techniques devised in no particular order. Number 10. Heretic's Fork. This torture device consisted of a metal piece with two opposed by pronged forks attached to a belt or strap. One end of the device was pushed under the chin, the other to the sternum, and the strap was used to secure the victim's neck to the tool, while the victim hung from the ceiling or somehow suspended so they could not sleep. Their heads dropped, the prongs would pierce their throat and chest. Number 9. Neck Torture. Humiliating and painful. This punishment was something of an endurance test, where the victim will be hooked into a neck device, either made of metal or wood, which prevented the victim from adjusting into a comfortable position. The cruelty of this punishment lie within the fact that they were unable to lay down, eat or lower their heads for days. Number 8. The Judas Cradle. Closely related to impalement, this gruesome punishment entailed having the victim sit on the pyramid-shaped cradle, after which they'll be forced down on it by ropes with the intent of stretching the victim's orifice over a long period of time, slowly impaling them. To add to the overall humiliation, the victim was usually naked and the device was rarely washed. So if the torture did not kill you, the infection contracted from it would. Number seven, lead sprinkler. Usually filled with molten lead, tar, boiling water, or boiling oil. It was used to torture victims by dripping the contents into their stomach or other parts like the eyes. Using this device, the torturer would proceed to pour the molten silver on the victim's eyes, which resulted in agonizing pain and eventual death. Number six, Iron Maiden. This torture device consists of an iron cabinet with a hinge front and spike covered interior, sufficient enough to enclose a human being. Once inside its chemical frame, the victim will be unable to move due to the great number of steel spikes impaling them from every direction. The interrogator would scream questions at the victim while poking them with jagged edges. Number five, coffin torture. The most preferred torture technique in the Middle Ages was known as coffin torture. This method involved placing the victim inside a metal cage roughly the size of a human body, hence the name. The torturers also forced overweight victims into smaller cages to heighten their discomfort as they hung from trees or gallows. Generally, they'll be left there until crows came to feed on their remains. Number four, tongue terror. Looking like an oversized pair of scissors, it could effortlessly cut the victim's tongue. The mouth would be forced open with a device called a mouth opener, and then the iron tongue terror would uncomfortably twitch the tongue with its rough grippers. Once a firm hold was maintained, the screw would be firmly tightened and the victim's tongue would be roughly torn out. Number three, the chair of torture. Also known as the Judas Chair, it was a terrible, intimidating torture device that was added to dungeons in the Middle Ages. Used until the 1800s in Europe, this chair was laid with 500 to 1500 spikes on every surface 
with tight straps to restrain its victims. Made of iron, it can also contain spaces for heating elements beneath the seat. It was often used to scare people into giving confessions as they watched others being tortured on this device. Number 2. Spanish Donkey One of the torture devices during the Spanish Inquisition, this is probably one of the most gruesome of them all. The victim is put astride, naked, on a donkey-like apparatus, which is actually a vertical wooden board with a sharp V wedge on top of it. After that, the torture would add varying weights to the victim's feet until finally the wedge sliced through the victim's body. Number one, hanged, drawn and quartered. During medieval times, the penalty for high treason in England was to be hanged, drawn and quartered in public. And though it was abolished in 1814, it has been responsible for the death of thousands of people. In this torture technique, the victim is dragged in a wooden frame called a hurdle to the place of execution. They would then be hanged by the neck for a short period of time until they are near death, followed by disembowelment and castration where the entrails and genitalia are burned in front of the victim. The victim would then be divided into four separate parts and beheaded. Ah!